Okay, hi. So, uh, most of you have seen a series of videos that I made on early footwork, so things like advancing, retreating, single passes, double passes, uh, and even the lunge and the recovery. What I didn't film was doing things like cross, slip, uh, traversing, thwarting, and even things like demi volte. So, I'm going to try and address some of those things in this video. So, this is mostly for my students in Leeds, but obviously, anybody is welcome to use it. Uh, if you don't know me already, my name is Neil Tattersall. I'm actually a teacher for the British Academy of Dramatic Combat and teach at uh, University Centre Leeds. So, what I want to do first of all is let's look at a cross. So, if we look at our, our standard sort of um, 16th century, very open guard, neutral guard, sort of shoulder width apart, if you will, we already know that doing a single pass involves taking a step forward. It's a very clever name one step forward, our foot passes the other as we take a step. So we can do single pass forward, single pass back, or vice versa. We can do double pass back, double pass forward. Still trying to maintain a uh, square on to our, uh, our target, our opponent, hips and shoulders forwards. Now, when it comes to doing a cross, uh, oh, and I will quickly add that doing a cross and a slip, uh, or even a thwart might mean different things to different people depending on what historical sources they've used. It doesn't really matter to be honest so long as we understand what we're talking about. So what I like to do in terms of a cross it's moving to the side rather than forwards or backwards. If it's a cross I'm going to take my lead foot which at the moment is my right foot and I'm going to go over there. It's essentially a type of passing step. So a cross to my left would involve me taking a step over here and completing it there. I can't go that way though. I, mean, I can, but not with a cross. A cross is led with your lead foot forward. So a slip comes in. <coughs> One, two, simple. I'm just going the other way this time. So a cross to my left. One, two. A slip to my right. One, two. If I want to do a cross to my right, of course I just need to do a single pass forward or a single pass back so that my left foot is my lead foot. And again, one, two, that is a cross, and a slip, one, two. Simple as that. Now if I find myself on the wrong foot, if you will, not there is such a thing, uh, so I can cross this way, I can slip that way. I don't have to do a cross or a slip, to be honest. I don't have to change step just to make sure that it's a cross that goes to my left. I can use a traversing step. If I'm using a traversing step, I'm just going to use whichever leg is closest to the direction of travel which I want to go in. If I want to traverse right, fine. I lead with my right foot and my left foot gathers in. If I want to traverse to my left, my left foot goes forwards at first, followed by my right. And it does not matter which foot is the lead foot. If I want to go left, fine. Left foot goes forward, right, take a single pass back. Now my right foot's my lead foot it's irrelevant. I'm going to traverse, so I lead with my right foot again and my left foot. I hope that makes sense. So that's crosses, slips and traverses. Um, we don't just have to go left and right by the way of course. We can do crosses going to a diagonal if we really want to and the same with slips. We can also do something called a demi volte of course. If our opponent wants to fight and they're trying to come off that line of, atta of attack and they want to come to our left or our right, they might attack with a, uh, a punto mandito or a, uh, a punto reverso. If that's the case, I might want to just shift myself uh, in a 90 degree um, arc. So in that case, if they're going to come to my left, I'm going to send my left foot to the side and shift my body weight over here. Okay? Same deal here. Just coming to the side. It realigns me with my target. Um, I think I'll probably do a little bit more video on that one later because I don't feel I've explained that one very well. Never mind. And lastly, we haven't looked at thwarts. So again, if somebody's doing a great big uh, skull splitting cut and it's coming down a descending cut on a diagonal, of course, if that happens, I'm going to say it'll be like doing a lunge where I, I extend out, keeping my back leg straight, except this time I'm going to go off to the side. So if I'm going to go to the left, I'm creating a nice straight line from the top of my head down to the heel of my foot. I'm not leaning on my, on my leg, I'm just able to recover. Again, I can do a thwart to my right, nice and simple. And again, there's nothing to say I can't go thwart backwards with either leg or thwart to the diagonal left. Oops. 
there you are. Right, or again, even back right, or back left. Simple as that. But I'm generally recovering one or another back to my basic on guard stance. Um, yeah, that'll do for today's video. Uh, hopefully that will help you uh, with your, your, your task for today. Okay, thanks a lot.